In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. the Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the Scaleless betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark sign. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
you. You're no hollow, hmm? Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Huh? Too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. One of the bells is up above in the undead church. But the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg, within the plague-infested Blight Town. But I'd die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs>
Hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant, close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, who has rung the bell of awakening. I wish to elucidate your fate. Do you seek such enlightenment? Very well. Then I am pleased to share. Chosen undead, your fate is to succeed the great Lord Gwyn, so that you may link the fire, cast away the dark, and undo the curse of the undead. To this end, you must visit Anor Londo and acquire the Lord Vessel. Those who seek the realm of lords must brave Sen's fortress, a deadly house of traps. Many have gone before you, but none have returned. Fate has chosen you, but proceed with caution. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you.
has journeyed far and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Heavens! You have done it! You have retrieved the Lord Vessel! After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Wind. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul. And Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness, or have chosen the path of the wicked. As the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no guilt. Let there be no vacillation. Farewell, chosen undead. I remain here and await thee.
art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Thou must return it whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. I beg of thee, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. I expected as much from thee. Why dost thee hurry to thine death?
What foolishness! Why trespasseth upon the great Lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? Mark the words of mine self, Gwendolyn. Thou shalt not go unpunished. in dark, an eternal curse upon thee.
The Lord Vessel is satiated. Magnificent. You are the righteous successor to Gwyn, the new great lord, and I am King Seeker no more. Your acquaintance was an honor. I must admit, I am fond of you humans. May you enjoy serendipity, and may the Age of Fire perpetuate. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still then. This one. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's savior. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the savior? Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Ulysses. 
Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseu. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dust may be rescued yet. Visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorius. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. Of little help to thee, I'm afraid. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, 
We lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred. Rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At thy twilight, old thoughts return. In great waves of nostalgia. Precious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. <laughs> taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying, knighthood's highest calling.
has defeated Calamit? Wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk, and rid us of that terrible primeval human, even halting the spread of the abyss. I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. I will remember thee, but I will keep thy story to myself. This is the best way. For thou art come from a time far ahead, 
no one will sing thy praises, but yet thy greatness shall live on, for it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. <laughs>